at right now is just a prototype of what I might use to make the sails. And what I want is something that's kind of eerie and haunting. And I think I've discovered a material that might work. You can see this is actually a little bit see-through. And again, this is just a prototype. I've not really worked on them. I'm just testing out my theory. That might just work. And at the end of this segment, I'll tell you the materials that I used for my prototype sale. Welcome to segment 27 of my Building the Black Pearl. I've got some uh, pretty exciting things that have happened. I've done some redesign on the entire uh, front of the ship and I'll show you some detail that I've done on this. I've got some rope work done there. So uh, let me just jump into some close-ups and show you what I'm talking about. Possibly one of the most interesting things that I've come up with is I purchased a turntable and the reason I did is so when I'm doing rope work I can go from one side to the other without having to move the ship itself. This has come in very handy now, not necessarily out here in the garage. A lot of time I do this in the house. Uh, this was a $20 investment. I did get a larger one and a wooden one. In this uh, Ship Modeling Simplified by Frank Mastini, there are two important pages. Most of it is all writing, and it wouldn't be proper for me to show you all the things in here because it's copyrighted. But for me, page 144, and it lists out all the rope work and the order to do it in. On page 64 it gives you two drawings of the sprit sail and I think that's what you call it. I keep saying spirit sail but it's sprit sail um, and this whole area. There's one that uses a lot of chain and the other uses a lot of rope. So I did a combination. I put a chain through here. You can see I've dropped a a piece of dowel rod down here for this support. Very helpful. So the whole book was worth it for those two pages. So I've taken some block and these each had two holes in them. There's one I've attached here and another one right there. You might notice that on this is the open side of the ship there's just one of these blocks with two lines coming out. Those are the ones that kind of form the triangular shape around and comes back to this outside one. The inside one that's only on this side goes a different route. It goes up the boom. There's a, I put a brass connector there. It goes then through this little stem right there and then leads all the way up to the front of the jib boom made great progress on that. I am done with that portion. I'm very happy that I decided to back away and redo the jib boom and do it in three sections. So good progress. I think the sales hold promise. You can give me... Again, those are just prototypes. I'll do a lot more work on them and, and get them the right size. But I like the look of it. What I used on the prototype, and again, these are not even anywhere close to the finished product, and I won't even use this material. This is the lowest grade of landscaping cloth that you would put under mulch to stop weeds from running up through. And then I took and I put my drill in the vise and this little cheap round drum sander, and I slowly sanded and shredded that cloth. It is whisper thin. If I had some wind it would flow nicely in the breeze and it shreds beautifully. You can see there's some holes worn in it where the where the sanding and I'll, I'll probably even sand it more. If you do that, if you choose to use a drill, be very careful because it can get wrapped up in it very easily and you don't want to injure yourself. So be very careful if you choose to try and do that with landscape cloth. 